Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. Normally, when we live in a certain home or a house, we are affected by our neighbors. And these neighbors, the Prophet, peace be upon him, says that there are rights that we need to fulfill of our neighbors, and the neighbors need to fulfill our rights. So if we have a neighbor who is easygoing, it becomes easier to fulfill their rights. But the test is for the neighbor who's not easygoing. It becomes very difficult sometimes, and some people are really tough. We need to be considerate of our neighbors because when we cook food or when we are doing something, we should ensure that we bear them in mind. Now, when we are cooking food, the Prophet, peace be upon him, says, we must make sure that we have a small portion for them uh, as and when possible. It would be good to give them a little bit so they can pray for you so that, you know, they would probably send you some as well, a little bit of food. But there is an Arabic saying, al jaru qabla dar What that means is, when you are purchasing a home or when you are going to a home in order to rent it for yourself, so either you're renting or purchasing, make sure you look at who the neighbors are before you actually purchase the house or live in the house because of the great impact that those neighbors will have upon you, your family members, your children and your, the surroundings. When you have decent neighbors, disciplined, well-mannered, high morals, values, no matter what faith they are, they would definitely be an asset to you in some ways. And if they belong to the same faith, then Alhamdulillah, it's going to be even easier but the minute they have low, low morals, low values, uh, you know, they're screaming, shouting, yelling at each other, it's going to affect you. Sometimes they might even harm you as neighbors. And this is why the Prophet, peace be upon him, says, whoever believes in Allah in the last day, should never harm his or her neighbor. Now, the strange thing is, I was asked a question from India a few days ago, that, you know, we have... Uh, a, a house that or an apartment that we'd like to uh, rent and right next to it when we open the back windows we can actually see a graveyard so uh, is that okay you know we're neighbors of a graveyard and I said by all means it is fine there is nothing wrong it's only superstitious where people say that you know what uh, oh there's a graveyard there it's a bad omen as Muslimin look at Medina Munawwara Baqiyah I'm sure those of us who've been to the blessed city of the Prophet, peace be upon him, have seen Baqiya. That Baqiya, it's a graveyard where thousands are buried from the Sahaba, from, uh, you know, the, 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 the Tabi'een, the, the saints, the Muslims, whoever has passed away. The Prophet, peace be upon him, says that, you know, Baqiya is actually blessed. So there are houses all around Baqiya, there are residential places. There is a masjid, in fact, right there. It does not affect you negatively. The negativity is when you are distanced from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is making your own home into a grave. That the Prophet, peace be upon him, says, لا تجعلوا بيوتكم قبورا. Don't make your houses into graves. Graves meaning dead, void of the remembrance of Allah. No one reads Salah there. No one fulfills the Quran there. Uh, there is nothing spiritual and religious that happens in your home. Your house becomes a grave or a graveyard that is what is wrong but if it is next to you adjacent to you near you there's nothing wrong with that it's actually uh, superstitious and unacceptable in Islam to say oh you know what it's uh, it's a bad thing it's not a bad thing like I said look at the Prophet Sallallahu where he lived and look at the Sahaba Radiallahu Anhu where they lived they used to walk through the graveyards in order to get to another place so the graveyard there was a thoroughfare and uh, up to now, the people who live in that in the surroundings, they are surrounded by this graveyard. Look at the graveyard of Makkah al Mukarramah, known as Mu'alla or Ma'ala. And what happens there is the same thing. There are houses all around, and everyone lives by, and mashallah, they're they're blessed, and they. It's just like anything else. In fact, in a way, sometimes to have dead people around you might be less burdensome than to have people who are real you know uh, real life people who are going to harass you and trouble you if they're going to harass you and trouble you 
it's much more difficult to live with such people. So I, I thought of this and I said, let me make a message to say it's a strange question, but really we do benefit from it because there's nothing wrong in having a neighbor uh, as a graveyard. You know, you open your window, you see that. In fact, when I was in Medina Munawara, if you go back a few posts on my Instagram and even on Facebook, I did a live session from the hotel room where I could see the whole graveyard. And for me, it was such a blessing. We're supposed to be reminded of the reality and that is going back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So a graveyard would actually remind you of your duty unto Allah. If you're not a sinful person and you're a person who is conscious of it, you won't mind to be reminded so often. Uh, may Allah make it easy for all of us. That's a quick message. Uh, today is the 6th of April 2018. I'm on my way to Manila, inshallah. On the 9th of April 2018, we'll be having a beautiful uh, event at the Mall of Asia Arena, inshallah, known as Building Bridges. And uh, the Building Bridges event, inshallah, it's open for Muslims and non-Muslims. I pray that those who've heard this in time would actually benefit from it. Inshallah, I'll post this on YouTube for the benefit of those who are uh, going to listen to it later. One more point before I leave, and that's come to my mind. Ask yourself, are you a good neighbor? Ask yourself, are you a good neighbor? Or do you trouble your neighbors with foul smells, with burning fires, with noise, with so much of pollution, with anything else? If you're not a good neighbor, it's time to change that. Because that's a sign of your iman, a sign of your closeness to Allah, a sign that you are really bothered about your hereafter. May Allah bless you guys and uh, take care. Salaamu Alaikum.